So as more and more S23 series of phones are arriving to customers, many are noticing that there seems to be a bug, at least I hope it's a bug, but uh, apparently the system files, right? So the amount of space the actual phone takes up just with the pre-installed operating system, the apps, everything, uh, basically the storage that the phone takes up out of the box in some regions <laughs> goes up to 60 gigabytes. This seems to be affecting the US and some European countries. And in this screenshot here, you can clearly see that the left S23 from India takes up 38 gigabytes of system files. But on the, uh, on the right side, the S23 from the Netherlands is taking up 58 gigabytes of system files. Just as an example, uh, the Google Pixel 7 with its Android 13 operating system only takes up roughly 15 gigabytes, one five gigabytes. So, wow. Could you imagine buying a 128 gigabyte S23? You unbox it, you're excited, you can't wait to use it, and then you're like, oh, I only got half the, half the storage, Samsung. Now, thankfully, if you pre-ordered the phone, which you still got time to do, Samsung is doubling your storage. I'll have an exclusive link down below for you guys to check out. So that helps a little bit. But again, this is just random. It just depends which region you live in. So again, if you live like in India, you're good. I mean, it still takes up 38 gigabytes. That's not too e excellent, you know. But I mean, if you live in the US or some European countries, whatever those some are, we don't know, but it can go up to 60 gigabytes. That's insane. An Android system that takes up a lot of space isn't anything too new because the S22s uh, took up roughly 25 gigabytes of system files, but it's certainly not 60. Now, this could be a reason for pre-installed apps that come with Samsung phones, such as Netflix, Microsoft Office, LinkedIn, um, and, and some duplicate apps, like you get like two, two calendar apps, two uh, weather apps, and, and you just get two mail apps, two messaging apps. So there seems to be a bunch of duplicate uh, apps that are shipped with the Samsung phone and uh, Samsung's very own app store called the Galaxy Store. That could be a reason, but all of those apps are on the S22 as well, and that doesn't take up 60 gigs of data. So it could be a bug because uh, pre-installed apps shouldn't take up that much data. It, it just really shouldn't. That is like that. I mean, just an example, GTA 5, right? The game that Rockstar is squeezing like a lemon, right? Like a fresh cut, juicy lemon that brings in millions, probably billions of actually, yeah, probably over billions of dollars. Even that game takes up like roughly 65 gigabytes of data. So basically your S23, depending on where you live, has a GTA 5's worth of data on it. I'm going to start using GTA 5 as a measuring metric. Nice. <laughs> but that is honestly insane. So let this video be a warning to you guys that are living in the US or some European markets. If you buy the phone after the pre-order period and you get the 128 gigabyte version, you'll have half the storage space to play around with. So I recommend either getting the 256 gigabyte uh, model or like I said, during the pre-order period, you automatically get bumped up for no extra cost. Uh, obviously, if you're getting the, the, the plus model or the ultra model, you won't have anything to worry about because those phones start out at 256 gigabytes. It's almost like Samsung knew that there was going to be a problem. And that's why the Plus and the Ultra don't start at 128 gigabyte model. Maybe this is Samsung's way of saying, hey, pay more money for the newer phone or the better phone, I should say. And that's it. Or at least the phone with the bigger storage. Um, so again, I hope this is a bug, but um, don't hold your breath. So guys, that's basically it. Just wanted to make this quick little warning video for you. Um, if Samsung does fix the issue, I'll make an update video and I'll probably even delete this video because uh, then this video will be completely irrelevant if the issue is fixed. Uh, but chances are, if you're watching this video, the problem is still occurring. So yay, or not yay, actually. <laughs> this was Mark from Markstech. Adios.